Hi, who said your icons need to be plain, black and uninspiring like this? They can be in different colors and attractive like this. Can you see that we have used multiple colors inside the same icon? They can even look organic like this. Can you see that the lines that are used are curved and are not straight lines as you see in most of the regular icons. If you're willing to put a few more seconds, you can make your icons even more interesting like this with some very interesting animations inside the individual parts of the icons. In this video, I'll show you how to achieve all these interesting effects with minimal effort in PowerPoint. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We share creative PowerPoint ideas to help professionals like you create engaging presentations. What I'm going to show you works with the recent versions of PowerPoint where you can work with SVG images directly. If you're using an earlier version of PowerPoint, no problem. You can always convert your SVG images into EMF or WMF format using sites like Online Cloud Convert. I work with Microsoft 365 and you have the option to insert icons directly right inside PowerPoint and you can work with them quite freely. First of all, the good thing about using icons is they provide a nice visual cue to support your text without providing too much distraction to your audience. And that is also the reason why most icons are plain black in color. They don't want your audience to get distracted by the icons. But then it is not always that all your presentations are only to business audience where your icons need to look plain and sterile. Sometimes you may have to present to distracted audience where having a bit of colors in your icons would go a long way. So how do you add some color to your icons to make them pop in certain situations? It's very simple. First of all, I got this icon from inside PowerPoint. I went to insert icons and I've got a whole bunch of options to choose from. The one that I took is this one and I said insert and I increased the size and this is the result. While it is always possible for you to select these icons that come in SVG format, go to shape fill and choose a different colored fill, it is not always that interesting. What I do normally is I right click on the icon and go to this option called convert to shape and that breaks down the icon into its individual pieces. Then I decide on the elements that need to be grouped together. For example, the sun and the rays need to be grouped together. So I select everything and press Ctrl G. And you can see that each of these elements is separate. So I can select these which are representing just the green fields and I can choose a color like this. If I want to increase the intensity of these, I can have a darker color like this. Can you see now it looks far more interesting. I can have my sun in red color. So in a matter of seconds, you are able to convert this plain, boring, black colored icon into this colorful icon that will work quite nicely with your distracted audience. Now let me delete this, make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and move it to one side and I'll show you how we can take the same icon to the next level by giving it a hand drawn look. All you need to do for that is you select all the elements of the icon, go to shape outline and instead of using the regular straight line, you use sketched line option. You see, this is an option available in Microsoft 365. Instead of the regular line, when you use curved line, instantly the icon looks as if it is hand drawn. Now, of course, you can take this effect to the next level by using lighter pastel colors instead of these block colors. For example, see the look of the sun here. It looks a little too dark. I can go to shape fill and use a lighter color like this and instantly the hand drawn effect looks even better. The same way I can use a lighter version for this as well. Maybe something like this. And for the other ones, I can make them look even lighter by choosing colors of a different hue like this. You can of course change the shape outline weight by going to this. Now, when you compare this version to this version, you can see that this has the more organic look and feel where when you want to make your presentation a little more casual, then this look would work quite nicely. Now, let me delete this and show you how to add animation to the icon to make it pop even more. Now, the usual type of animation that you use for your icons is a simple fade animation and that is how the animation looks. 
Now I'll show you how you can animate the individual elements of your icon so your icon pops even more. First let me select these elements that I see on the right and then have them wipe from left. While this happens I want these elements to wipe from right and this happens with previous. While this animation happens, I want to have the sun floating in with a simple float in animation for the same duration as 0.5 seconds and it happens with previous. Now see how this animation looks. On a click, this is how the animation happens. You can apply the same idea to different types of icons. For example, in this astronaut icon, you can see that these stars are twinkling and in this one we have the seed popping out and in this one we have the ball turning and we have the last one where the bubbles are popping out of this flask. If you apply a little bit of creativity you can always ungroup your icons and apply animation to the individual elements of the icons so your icons pop. After all animation and creativity is a heady combination that your audience can't resist. If you want to learn how to mix creativity with PowerPoint custom animation, then we have put together a short playlist of videos which you can watch by clicking on the link here. All you need to do to start improving your PowerPoint animation skills is to click on this video here and start watching the video right now.